Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning, and I am headed to Dallas. Currently, I'm in Grand Prairie. I decided to stop at Starbucks um, because my delivery people are a little bit late. I'm doing a furniture delivery this morning for a client of mine in Dallas, and um, the guys called me to tell me they were going to be a little late, which is perfect because I had not eaten breakfast yet, and I need uh, something to eat and drink. So I was going to stop at Starbucks and get a little something, and then I'll keep heading on to Dallas. Welcome to Starbucks. How can I help you? Hi. Um, can I have a roasted tomato and mozzarella panini and um, two venti ice cream teas with no sugar? Anything else? That's it. Happy 12th night. Thanks. Thank you. I have no idea why I'm so into Caprese lately, but Starbucks roasted uh, tomato and mozzarella panini is my new favorite thing. It's kind of like a Caprese situation. It doesn't have any balsamic or basil, but... Um, it has like these kind of roasted tomatoes and then melted mozzarella. It's really, really good. Okay, it's one o'clock and the delivery started at 10. That took forever. We had to get a different kind of wrench because uh, we were putting this bed, to well, when I say we were putting this bed together, I was not, <laughs> I was supervising, but uh, they had to get a different kind of wrench. So, but the bed looks beautiful and we uh, delivered some counter, counter stools from Bungalow 5, which are really cool. Um, Anyway, so um, I'm going to have some lunch now, and then I'm meeting uh, my rep from a um, bedding store, Casa Delino. She's going to deliver um, the bedding that we got for this, uh, for this client to uh, their apartment building. So um, I'm having a quick bite to eat, and then I'm going to go do that with her. This Texas August heat is insane. Like, look how red my face is. Um, I had to pop into Target real quick to get little felt pads uh, for um, the counter stools I delivered. This is sort of turned into an all day excursion, this delivery, but these felt pads um, are lifesavers for the bottom of furniture so that you don't scratch your floors. If you're not already putting them on your furniture you should be same thing with this is like a random tangent but same thing with pillow covers and I don't mean the actual pillowcases you can buy them at Bed Bath & Beyond um, but uh, my old boss taught me about pillow covers and she was like I can't believe you're not using them <laughs> um, but they are great they're just like little zip-on covers and it just I can't explain it it makes your pillow feel so much more luxurious and it protects the pillow because you know like after a while, if you just have the case on it, like your pillow will get kind of like dirty. So um, those are great and they're really cheap and it's just kind of like an added good thing as a, you know, because pillows are expensive and it's good to protect them. Random advice on useless interior design knowledge <laughs> for the day. My dad's visiting, this is dad, and we're at the flip, Robin. and we're going to uh, take a look at the progress. So dad hasn't seen it since, when was the last time you saw it? Uh, about a month ago. Okay, so you haven't seen the floors in. Nope. And he hasn't seen the countertops in. Nope. Actually, you guys haven't seen the countertops in either, so we're gonna take a look. Okay, walking in the door. Hi, sweetie. Okay. So the floors are in. Hey, Brian. Down the hallway. How are you? I'm super. How are you doing? Brian, you don't, good, sorry, you don't have a nice late. shirt on or I'll your hair fun. comes again. He complained to me that. Oh, wow. The good see this you. is the counters. And thank you for that QT cut, Brian. The sink and the faucet. Weren't that much more expensive than Promo? 
Uh, no, her, barely. I mean, everything, including hiring a guy for an afternoon to help me move it around, mm -hmm. and I think we're at about seven hundred dollars for the countertops. So, but I mean, is that? I mean, what would per night be? Eight hundred. Mm, no. Three four hundred dollars. Three four hundred. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, it's not. It's worth it. Yeah, it's it's, it's, like, it's marginally more than not as there. So much classier looking. I mean, they look great. Wow, this looks amazing. Well, we did the. There's one in the uh, laundry room there too. Hi, babe. Hey, boo. Oh, cool. Oh, you got beer, babe. Oh, I've never, oh, I've never tried this. Can I try this? Yeah, I was, I wanted to get the uh, summer pills, but I think maybe it's, it's just about yeah time for it to be done. They said that they were out, and they didn't think they were getting any more. So I guess. Do you have the countertop in there? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. So this is oh, the laundry wow. room. Now oh, we have right. a counter These in here. Outstanding! Wow, those are really cool. You have all the oh, doorknobs on. Great. I do. I'm a I'm a doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Brian, this looks really great. Brooklyn one? You want the Brooklyn one? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have one too because I'm Brian, I, I'm not aware of it. Oh. If y'all haven't tried Brooklyn Brewery, it is so good if y'all like craft beer. And I discovered them maybe, I discovered Brooklyn Brewery maybe like three years, no, longer than that. Maybe like five years ago. My friend Caitlin, hi Caitlin, invited me to um, this uh, tasting dinner at this restaurant in Dallas called Eno's and instead of doing wine tasting they were doing a beer tasting and they had invited um, the brewmaster of Brooklyn Brewery to pair all the Eno's is like a really good pizza place they had paired all these different pizzas with craft beers and it was really cool and then maybe like six months later uh, B and I went to Brian I call Brian B <laughs> um, we went to Brooklyn Brewery uh, in Brooklyn and uh, kind of you know tried so this is Brooklyn's summer ale cheers he's talking about our floors which are dirty right now but okay you can turn the light on in there dad let's turn the light on the, uh, that cabin in there has some white paint on it, so don't rub on it. Right. Unless you want to. No, I don't, don't want to get paint on it. <laughs> wow. Oh, Brian, that looks outstanding. Do you like the floors? Absolutely. Babe, the toilet seat is up. Really? Well, you go put it. I don't have any ladies working on it. Yeah, two of them actually. Do you have to use the bucket anymore? No, no buckets. <laughs> There's, there's the hallway oh, light. Oh, I'm gonna put this yeah, toilet seat down so you can actually see the toilet seat bathroom. Men, right? That's our faucet and our cute little vanity. Oh, oh, honey, you put the poles on my vanity. It looks so good. Yeah. I get way too excited about things. There are the floors and then the shower. We used um, Delta Champagne Bronze, which a lot of clients have told me recently they're not sure about the champagne bronze because they don't think it looks brassy enough like it looks too the the tub will be clean before we sell um that it looks too i don't know off or something and i just love it so anyway leave, leave in the comments below your thoughts on delta champagne bronze and this i ordered off amazon and it was literally like 55 dollars. it was so inexpensive and i think so effective looking yeah. 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 Yeah.
master shower. It works great, Brian. And then the master vanity. Well, it, it'll look a lot better once everything's touched up and cleaned and finished. I missed the... Oh, good. So there is my... This is a floor-to-ceiling cabinet that was existing here, and we basically just... Uh, we basically just painted it black and then added a little toilet paper holder and some brass hardware to it, and then uh, the acrylic towel bar again.